So our goal for our project was to create an alternative to the average pesticide-based disposable ant trap. And to that end, we've created a semi-permanent electrical uh, ant trap. So essentially it steps up voltage using this PCB here. We've got a high voltage PCB on top, and it steps voltage up to around 1300 volts, and then we then send that to the bottom board whenever we've sensed that enough ants have gone into the device to kill as many as possible, just so we uh, limit the power efficiency of it to as good as we can. <laughs> the board works basically by, like you said, the ants walk through a sensor on the board, so I'm going to simulate for you an ant walking through so you can see the counter working. So this, the LEDs count up to 16, and then when it gets up to 16, this red light will come on, which is indicating that the high voltage circuit is activated, and then that's when the ants will be electrocuted. So right now, you can see the LEDs lighting up. And then the high voltage circuit comes on, stays active for about two seconds, then it turns off, the counter resets, and then the whole process starts over again. Um, what we did was we designed a circuit that has a taser based circuit, so something similar to what's in the taser, to step up high voltage and get it around 1300 volts. So when there's a certain amount of ants in there, it will turn off, get up the high voltage, and then fry the ants inside. <laughs> yeah. So it's more humane than using pesticides. Yeah. This is okay. instantaneous. It's, it's so very, it's a very like a quick, time. it's a very quick method. How long method. has it been in there? How That's would you lure the ants in? Put a sugar cube, sugar cube in, the okay. in the middle, as you can That's see why right we here. Put like a square cut out in the top piece. Of okay. In the board. middle. So that you can just drop so the a sugar cube in there, and that should attract them. And it works. They love sugar, obviously. Yes. Yeah, they do.